Hi, this is Chelsea Meyer with the Art of Education, and I'm here today to show you how to use Google Forms um, for various things in the art room. First thing you're going to do is you're going to sign into Google Drive and create an account. You're going to go under here and click Create and then Form, and this is a Google Form. It shows you the start of your form. You can retitle it. I'm going to title this one. It's going to be an Art Club Survey. Um, a great one to start with is just their name as a basic test text question so here's your text your next question I might ask them um, what grade they are in to know um, what students grade are so I can change that to multiple choice and then I can list it's a fifth through eighth grade art club and so I can give those choices here when I make it multiple choice it only allows them to select one now I can click add item this so what I'm going to do is a check boxes. I want to know what morning activities they're involved in. Um, and this allows me to kind of let them know different things that are going on in the morning. It allows me to set, select the best morning. Um, we have lots of morning events here at the middle school already. Lots of great things happening. And then I want to also know why they want to be in art club. So now I can click paragraph text, which allows them to enter in more information. And I can click done. If I want to go back and edit a question, I can click edit. And then I can change the question type if I want to, or change, I can add help text and all sorts of great things with Google Forms. You can also duplicate this question, so I could create the same question. Maybe I want to change this to add their parents' emails. And then instead of paragraph text, I'd like this just to be the shorter text, and then I can click Done. And there's my Google Form. Now the great fun part is to change the theme. So under Themes, I'm going to select my artsy little glue bottle when it comes up here. You can select all sorts of different types of themes, but of course, I love this glue bottle here. And then this is what the form will look like for students. So students can select one of these options, and then if they're involved in several acti activities, they can select um, multiple ones, and then they can type in the boxes here. And then I'm just going to click Apply, and that applies my theme. Then if I go back... Um, I can email this form. A lot of times I'll just email it to myself and I'll show you what that looks like when students would get an email or you can forward it on. I forward it on from my personal email um, from there. I can go back to Google Drive and here's my art club survey that I just created. It's just right now being shared with me so it's private. So I'm going to click on this and this is how your information will come to you and a spreadsheet form. So this is great. I don't have to do any of the typing. Students type it in and it already plops it into a spreadsheet for me. Nice, easy, and organized. Um, under form, then I can go back and I can edit my form, which gives you back to this original screen. And so you can make changes there. Or under form, I can click send form. And that allows me to send form just as it did at the beginning there. Um, I can also click show summary responses and I'll do this on one that I've already created so you can see what that information then looks like in charts. It's great. Um, one of the things you want to check though is right now it's private. It's only, only I can access it. I want to share this and be able to let students edit it. So I'm going to change this and you can make it anyone with the link and then I can click save. You can also make it public on the web if you'd like. This is a link that I'm going to share so I can copy this and click done and then I can forward that on through my email account in which I've created distribution list or I can hyperlink it by using by using this hyperlink here so this is my hyperlink to this form um, if I go back this little back arrow here takes you back to Google Drive and I'll just show you the art club survey that I already created so here's the art club survey that I already 
Um, here under form you can now see summary responses. This is one of the great reasons on why I love using Google Forms. It allows you to quickly take all that information that you had entered in and it allows you to see really quickly how many 8th graders you have, how many 7th graders you have, 6th and 5th and it gives you number amounts as well as percentage. So you could ask students um, various questions that would be related to the art room like what's your favorite project or what information did you learn and you can see their summary responses really quickly in these wonderful bar graphs. Um, another one that I really wanted to focus on is what they were involved in in the morning activities. So it turned out that Monday and Friday mornings were two of the best mornings for me to host Art Club. And so I'll get the most attendance by using Google Forms. I hope you enjoyed the session and best of luck using Google Forms. Thanks.